Today, we're covering Aaron Williams and Tara Henderson's trip to Mexico. They were supposed to go together as a group, but we all know their plans changed. Look at that face and his hair. What's up with his hair? I'm sure he probably just took his hat off, but nice hair. Tara posted this picture from the plane. I don't know what they're drinking, maybe champagne? Let's rewind this, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back a little bit. The night before they left to go to Mexico, Adam and Tara are at home packing for their trip and Tara makes Adam try on a few outfits. He looks beyond miserable in these pictures. A viewer sent Tara this message. I can't stop laughing. The booties <laughs> and the rolled pants. Why can I not say this without laughing? I'm about to show y'all why in a minute, but I gotta get through this first, okay? And let me just say, if I can't have fun, like recording these videos and making these videos, I don't wanna do it, you know? So I definitely have fun with this. I laugh at so much in life. I just laugh a lot. That's just my personality. So let's continue. The viewer said, the booties and rolled pants make it too feminine for his style, but otherwise looks great. Tara said, Adam doesn't have a style, lol, but thank you. I shared these pictures on my Instagram account, at YouTuber Headlines, because you guys were talking about the Mexico trip, and I was like, well, they haven't left yet. Look, they're packing. And I shared these on Instagram, and someone sent me this screenshot. <laughs> this looks... <laughs> you guys... Oh my gosh, y'all crack me up. I'm not cutting any of this out either. Just is what it is. So do you guys think these outfits look similar? Let me know what you think in the comments. But there's more, I wanna share more. So what do you do if you're an influencer, YouTuber, public figure, and you have no style? Cause that's what Tara just said about Adam. Adam has no style. Well, what does Tara do? She goes on social media and she finds a guy who she thinks has style and she copies his outfits head to toe for her husband. So I wanna show you who Tara found online. It's a guy, she loves his style and she completely copied his entire outfit for Adam. But before I show you who this is, I wanna say that I think Adam does have style. I think Tara should stop dressing him and stop making him look like a male fashion influencer. I, I just don't feel like that's Adam. It doesn't fit him well. I just don't think it does. He's got style. He's got style in there. He just needs to pull it out. It's obvious he's extremely influenced by his wife, which is fine. Husband should be. But I do think that every guy just needs to find their own style. You know what I mean? Tara posted a picture of her inspiration on Instagram. So here's the guy she was copying. His Instagram is Hunt Havens. She said, I'll try to link everything I purchased for Adam for our trip soon. A lot of the inspiration came from Hunt Havens. No girl, all the inspiration came from this guy. And I checked out this guy on Instagram and TikTok and he is a male fashion influencer and he loves it. You can tell. He does outfit of the days. He has all the accessories and the rings and the jewelry. He loves it and he's good at what he does. Let's move on from Adam's wardrobe. I think I've talked about this enough. So now they're in Mexico. Erin has her film crew there because she's filming a video for her paid membership because she promised you guys some juicy content, juicy Mexico content. We just got to our resort. We're about to eat lunch, we're starving. We woke up at three and we've barely eaten anything today. Tara wrote this on her stories. First time leaving the US, a little overwhelming for me. I have a little bit of anxiety, but I'm so excited to be here and take it all in. So we're gonna get some lunch while we wait for our room. The weather is so nice here. Um, so we're gonna eat some lunch and then probably spend the rest of the day at the pool. I don't know what that is, but it looks disgusting. I'm not like a sushi lover. And it looks like there might be some sushi under there. Let me Google this. It's a Latin American recipe for raw fish and seafood marinated in a citrus juice, mainly lime and lemon. No, 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 no. I do not like that. Dude, hungry. One, two. Is the taco thing in it, or are you just taking a photo of us? One, two, three. You have to put your face in it? 
Okay, that's more my style. Give me the tacos. Give me all the tacos and chips and salsa. Say hi, everybody. Um, let's keep going. Tara's on the left, Aaron's on the right, and here's their underwater pull shot. Watch Tara pop up out of the water. She has her drink in her hand. Her hair has been combed back. All that was so planned and edited. It really feels like Tara planned a lot of her content. She definitely edited this video. She planned, you know, popping out of the water, having her drink in her hand. Some of her pictures look very much like an influencer, which I know she's an influencer, but I believe she's stepping it up a notch. I'll show you in a minute. And Erin's content definitely didn't feel that way. I'm sure once we see her Mexico video, it will feel more professional because it was filmed and edited by a professional. I'm talking about what they put out on Instagram. Tara's felt very strategic, planned, edited, and Erin's felt very, like, just raw. Would there be a Mexico trip without a little shade being thrown? Definitely not. Look at this clip. So this is Tara and this is Kenzie. They tagged Morgan Wallen and they're playing Morgan Wallen's song. And if you're not familiar with this song, let me read some of the lyrics to you. You guys know I can't play the song due to copyright, but here's the lyrics. But why you gotta be so heartless? I know you think it's harmless. You're tearing me apart and girl, that's the hardest part. You're so high on attention, taking miles from inches. Leave me in the darkness, never finish what we started. Girl, why you gotta be so heartless? So heartless, so heartless. So that was Tara and Ellen, and everybody was saying they were definitely throwing shade Aaron's way. Tara and Adam were at the same resort with Ellen and Kinsey. Ellen and Kinsey are both Aaron's ex-nanny's assistants. They just want you to be confident. The second that you show confidence, they're like, <laughs> Erin did a lot of lives when she was in Mexico. You guys know she's charging for some of her Instagram content. Let me tell you what the girl's making over on Instagram. You guys will be blown away or shook. Erin said, I'm shook at the sub count climbing so fast. I love you. So Erin has 2,500 subscribers on Instagram. She charges $4.99 a month. And like I said in a previous video, she gets to keep all of that. Instagram is not taking a percentage this year. I heard they're not going to take a percentage from creators until 2023. So $4.99 times 2,515 members is $12,549.85 a month. I'm shook by that. That's $150,000 a year just on Instagram, just posting Instagram stories or content or whatever. I wanna do an entire video talking about this Instagram subscription and kind of my thoughts and feelings on it, but this is not the video, let's get back to Mexico. I don't need to add commentary to this picture. You guys can see what's happening. Here's Adam and Tara at dinner. And then of course, you know, Adam is always looking so happy. He's in paradise and he doesn't look happy. Three right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, everybody it's thought it's been a lot of crazy. No, they're all on the same team. We're gonna unite it by taking shots of tequila. We're the only ones on a different team. Everybody's gonna be a friend. Everybody's gonna love each other. We're the only ones on the different team. We're the only ones on a different team. Everybody else is on the same team. All right. I vote for Nick. Get your shot glass out. Nick seems to like the attention on him. He seems to be the life of the party. And I was dying watching these stories. If you want to take this much, that's okay. If you want to take a whole glass, that's okay too. If you, just want to, if you want to take your glass, you want to lick it, that's all right. Guess what? Take this shot glass, you flip it upside down, and it's like a fucking teacup. You can do that too. Moving on, these are the Instagram pictures that Tara posted on her feed, and look at these pictures. She's definitely using different angles and different poses. I mean, this looks like influencer pictures, right? And this is the only picture that Erin posted from Mexico on her feed. While in Mexico, Tara would share a picture or something in her stories, and then she would immediately follow it up with a tap to shop photo. So this picture right here, she shared on her Instagram stories, and immediately it was followed by a photograph where you could tap and shop her entire outfit. 
Erin also shared links when she was in Mexico, her Pecos princess bag and things like that. So they were both definitely sharing links while they were in Mexico. Erin did a Q and A about the trip. Someone said, what made you pick this resort over all the others? I'm planning my husband's birthday in July. Erin said this trip was gifted to us. So Erin did not pay for her hotel at all. And it was all inclusive, which means your drinks and your food are all included. Which room did you end up going with? They all look amazing. Erin said, I think they put us in their most basic room, but Jess got a suite and it was massive. Was this a business trip or just for fun? Erin said, is this customs asking? Is this a trap? I can't find the screenshot, but Erin's friend Vicki, the Holcomb family, did a Q&A about the trip too. Someone asked her, did she pay for it or was it gifted? And she said, no, their hotel expenses were not gifted. So it sounds like Aaron and her film crew, the Halls, what should I call them other than film crew? The Halls, that's their last name. Got to stay at the resort for free. It was gifted to them. Tara posted this from the plane. She said, I can't wait to snuggle our babies. They upgraded our seats on the way here and on the way back. First time flying first class and it just so happened to be out of the country. We are not normally this bougie. It's interesting to me that she considers flying first class bougie because I don't. I think that is making yourself more comfortable on a plane, giving yourself more space, being relaxed on a plane. I definitely don't think that's bougie. Now, I think having a $3,800 purse is bougie. I would rather spend my money on experiences than things any day, any time. A viewer asked, are Aaron and Tara going to Disney around the same time? It's kind of weird they keep going the same places. I said, I'll answer in my video. So Tara and Aaron were supposed to go to Mexico together. It's not that they just happened to be going to Mexico at the same time. They were supposed to go together, but crap hit the fan and they planned separate trips. Same thing with Disney. Aaron is going to Disney in June for her daughter's birthday and Tara is going to Disney this month for her daughter's birthday. And I think initially they were supposed to go together. A viewer said, also bizarre, Aaron mentioned her outfit for Disney, biker shorts and long tees. Then Tara just posted, that's what she'll be wearing to Disney. Isn't that so weird? I don't understand why everything Aaron posts, Tara is one step behind with something exactly the same. So I don't have Aaron's Instagram stories where she talked about Nicole planning their outfits for Disney and they were wearing biker shorts and long t-shirts. But she definitely said that on Instagram and not soon after Tara posted this. My outfit of the day for Disney next week at the parks. Oversized Disney graphics with biker shorts and my Converse. Is that a coincidence or do you guys think Tara's copying their outfits? Tara's about to talk about the trip she took with Erin down to Orlando, Florida to go to Disney with the girls and they were both pregnant. You guys remember that, right? Mind you, I didn't have Adam with me. So I was by myself with both Bailey and Shay and heavily pregnant. Um, I did go with a friend, so we were, um, I did go with a friend, so we were kind of like bouncing back and forth, like trying to help each other out. She was also pregnant. Um, a friend, who's the friend she's talking about? I got so many DMs about this. The fact that Tara will not even say Aaron's name. She will not speak Aaron's name on her platform. That's crazy. And I know a lot of you guys sent Tara a DM saying, wow, you can't even say her name. Everybody's talking about this right now. There's definitely chatter online about this. Do I think Aaron has seen some of this chatter? Yes, I do. And listen to what Aaron said last night on Instagram. Disney outfits. So I didn't pick the Disney outfits Nicole did. Um, I'm like very go with the flow about like, outfit planning when it comes to Disney. Um, I, Tara used to plan all of our outfits when we went together. And I'm trying not to confuse you guys. I'm trying to keep the timeline straight, but this was a Instagram live for subscribers only that she posted last night. I believe on the way back from Mexico, Erin said we're wearing biker shorts and graphic tees to Disney. Then Tara posted she was wearing biker shorts and graphic tees to Disney. Then last night, Aaron posted this live. So that's the timeline. I hope that's not confusing. It's definitely interesting that Tara will not speak Aaron's name. And Aaron dropped her name very casually. Like, she's so unbothered, right? But I think they're both bothered by this entire situation. They're going through a public breakup. People are taking sides. People have assumptions and opinions all the things. Anyway, I definitely want to know what y'all think about everything. Leave a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are down below. 
And don't forget to watch some of my previous videos by clicking on these thumbnails. See you next time.